I make it all about you when you come through Turn off my phone, no distractions when I'm with you You gon' get that text in the morning Shawty, you gon' get what's up you guys welcome back to my channel um in today's video you guys we're going to be going over some of my amazon finds these are items that i use all the time that you probably have seen me in my stories and pictures and things with these things on or um seeing them around my house in my vlogs and things like that so these are items that i really really like um, this is an Amazon favorites. I have so many favorites from Amazon. I am truly an Amazon shopper. I have a lot of stuff from Amazon, but I'm only going to show you a few things on this video. Um, Amazon is a little bit addictive, girlfriend. So I'm going to be leaving all the links to all of the things that I'm going to discuss in this video in the description box below. So everything you see in the video today, I'm going to link it in the description box below if you want to get your hands on some of these items so let's go ahead and start off with my bag organizers um this is one of my little bag organizers that i have i got this from amazon of course you probably never see it because it's always in my little bag so i have my little lv little um clutch bag right here that i use this for so it's usually all the time it's always in my little LV bag right here. This is so convenient, you guys. It, I, I absolutely love it. It fits right in here, like with absolutely with no problem at all. So I usually just slip it right down into my little clutch. So it fits right in here. It fits so freaking perfectly, you guys. I absolutely love this. And then I could just take my top zip zipper and um just go ahead and close it out just like this okay it fits perfectly into a little bag so if you have a very small clutch like this or if you have one of these lv clutch bags this bag organizer is perfect for it it has a lot of pockets and little compartments and things going on inside of the organizer as well so i'm sure it'd be something you like Next up, I'm gonna tell you guys about my other organizer. This is a really, really, really big organizer. Um, the reason I bought this organizer, I had it for a very long time. It has a zipper on here, right in here, where we can kinda like close it up. See that? So this thing has a million compartments, you guys, like from the inside, to the outside it is so freaking nice and it and the reason i bought this from you guys first of all y'all know i love red so i got a red organizer okay and i bought it to sit it right inside of my lv40 this thing was the perfect fit for my lv40 i could at first i was like am i gonna find an organizer this big yes i did the reason i have a, a, a lv40 is because you guys know that i am a content creator although i be on and off but when i do go out and do content i like to grab my gadgets and things and put it inside like the lv40 is so convenient it's like i could use it for um travel i can use it for an overnight bag i can use it for a purse it, it's just so multi you know it's like a multi-purpose bag and this bag organizer just helps it even more so when i want to use it as a purse i put my bag organizer inside of it and when i want to use it for content i take the whole bag organizer out and i can put a whole laptop and things like that so but anywho let's get back to the organizer so it's able to fit you know my um wallet my makeup bag whatever i want to put in here lotion all kind of little things there is so much room in this bag and this bag organizer makes it so much more functionable for me because i like to carry a lot of things and i cannot stand to be digging around in a bag and unable to find stuff it is so annoying so this bag helps me to stay organized and i truly truly appreciate that the link for that will also be in the description box below so let's talk about my gold chains okay so i have all of these gold chains like these well i think i only have about two and these are perfect they come in different lengths you guys you can clamp them on the side of like i like to use it for my little 
you know, certain clutch bags and things that I have, but if ever I feel like I want to tote it as a crossbody, then I could just clamp it right on the side, of course. Just clamp it right on the side. It clamps, guess what it's clamping on? It's clamping on the organizer that I put inside of the bag. So the, the organizer has a, a area for clamps. So I thought that was so perfect. So I could just clamp this on my LV like this. And then I can put this over my head and tote this bag like a crossbody if I don't feel like walking around with it up under my arm. Okay, so these are so great to have. It's just a nice little essential to have um, in your collection if you are a woman and you have many clutches and things like that. I love clutches. I think they're very classy and you know, very, very girly. So I have a lot of them. And then sometimes, you know, a lot of them might come with silver, um, silver chains on them and sometimes I don't like that because I tend to wear more gold than silver and um, so it is perfect for me to switch it switch it up and use my gold chains to give it more of a I guess more of a upbeat look or a more put together look let's call it that so next up you guys I want to talk about my body highlighter by Kata um, I guess it's Kata K A I'm sorry, K-Y-D-A, however you pronounce it. But it is a body highlighter, and hopefully it's not glowing off of the ring light, you guys. But I love this stuff, you guys. You know, we are ladies, and sometimes we like to wear stuff like this. And we have, like, our little um, outfits that have maybe the shoulders out, or maybe one shoulder out. Or if you have any of this area exposed, it is great for stuff like that, because you could just take a small little dab of this highlighter, and you could just put it right on um just use a dab now because if you put too much it could be all over the place and it could, it's going to be all over your hands so make sure you're careful not to touch your outfit or anything like that have it like maybe a wet napkin or something right nearby so when you're done rubbing it into your shoulders and into your skin to give you that beautiful nice glow you could go ahead and get your hands onto the wet napkin and clean it off immediately to avoid touching your outfit and getting any of the gold glow on your clothing. So I thought this was really, really beautiful, you guys. I absolutely love it. The bottle looks like this. I think it is so sexy on a nice date night or whatever when you're like out with your little dude or whatever and you just want to have that little extra glow and little shine, girl. Y'all know how we do it, right? <laughs> we, I am all for the sexy, baby. I am all for the sexy. But yeah, this definitely makes me feel very, very feminine, very, very sexy, very put together. Already when I wear tops like these, you know, these tops are very feminine to me. So this is a great combination to add when you have outfits that are off the shoulder. Maybe you wanna try this and see how you like it. Link is gonna be in the description box below. So let's go ahead and move on to some of the Amazon jewelry that I wear every day. These are everyday pieces of jewelry. Um, nothing fancy, you guys. If you've ever paid close attention to my style, I like my jewelry kind of uh, minimalistic, pretty much like petite type of jewelry. So I'm always wearing a lot of studs, if you haven't noticed that. Um, these studded earrings also came from Amazon, and they are just some simple um, gold-plated studs um, that looks like a diamond stud or whatever. And I wear this stuff every single day, you guys. Like on a daily basis, I always have on studded earrings, if you haven't noticed. It's either um, studded diamond earrings, um, gold balls, or something like that that's always in my ear. Every so often you'll see me with a big piece of dangling jewelry and it's and usually when I do that, my hair, I usually like my hair to be pulled back in a pony or something like that. But we already know we're not gonna combine big earrings with big necklaces and something gotta be small so we can have a balance, okay? But yeah, I just wanted you guys to see my little studded earrings. These come from Amazon and that's where I get them from. Okay, moving right on along, we're gonna talk about my um, the necklace that I am wearing. This necklace also came from Amazon. Very, 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 very thin, super thin. Like I said, this is everyday jewelry. This is not something that, you know, maybe if you're gonna go out um, somewhere really, really fancy, 
you know, you might want to put on something a little bit more elevated, but just for every day running around TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Walmart, Target, whatever you do all day long, just throwing on an outfit and just going out in about a day, just having a good time doing much of, not too much of anything. These little dainty little jewelry pieces, I love them. They are very, very simple. They are very, very classy and they are very, very feminine. So this is my style. If you are a girl that has a style similar to mine, you might like something like this. So of course I'm leaving the, um, the script, I'm gonna leave it in the description box below. I also have some very, very dainty little rings um, that I also got at the same time of this, but for some reason I must have misplaced them. I can't find them. They're very, very thin gold rings. Um, it comes in a set of three. You could put it on three fingers. You could put it all on one finger, or I usually split mine up on two fingers, but um, I'll, leave the, I'll leave the link to it in the description box um, just in case you just wanna see them. Sorry, I was unable to find them. I misplaced them. So let's go ahead and move right on along now. I'm gonna tell you guys about my little anklet. I absolutely love this anklet, you guys. I absolutely like this anklet a lot, you guys. I wear it often, all the time. It's very, very cute and sexy when you have on some heels and you know it's out and you're able to see it. It also has an initial um, heart shape medallion on it. I have mine in the letter G, so if you wanted to get one of these, you can have one in your own initial, your letter or whatever, you know, your first name starts with. But I think this is really, really cute, very feminine and very, very elegant to add to your little wardrobe when you are going out in your little heels and stuff like that, yeah, y'all. So I absolutely like this and of course it's in gold and I've had it for a while. It has not turned or anything like that. Now I can't promise you that it's gonna stay like that forever. So this is how the anklet looks. It's very, very um, small. As you, you know, this is a, a anklet because this can't be a necklace this small, right? But it has like a double loop effect and it has a really small little heart right here on the bottom and this heart has my initial on it so it has the letter g meaning you if you want to get one of these you just get it in the letter of your own name i think they're very very cute and classy on with some nice heels and stuff like that it looks very very feminine these are some very feminine items that i think women should just have in their little collection and you know it just kind of makes you know your little heels and stuff stand out and I absolutely love it. Very dainty, very nice. It, I've, I haven't had any problems with this turning. Um, at the same time, I haven't really been in like no water or anything. I saw one girl, she said she was in a pool with hers when I was looking at the reviews when I first bought this. But like I said, I had a lot of these Amazon finds for a good while now. I just never brought them to the channel and showed them to you guys. But yeah, it's absolutely cute. I absolutely like this. And if you guys like it, again, you can get it in the description box below. Okay, so I totally forgot to mention this watch from Amazon. It is great for everyday wear. I absolutely love it. Had it a very long time. It has never turned in color. So if you're interested in something like this, I'll also leave this in the description box below. Now let's talk about my silk robes. You guys see me in these silk robes all the time. They look like this. They're very soft. They're very silky, satinish. Um, every lady should have some type of robe that she has in her collection. I prefer satins and silks, although I do like some cotton, but it's just something about the satin and silks. They look so feminine, so classy, so elegant. I love walking around in my house after I get out of my shower or my bath with these on. You guys, they feel so good on my skin. Um, I do not like to sleep in them overnight because this is silk and satin. Sometimes stuff like this could possibly make you sweat unless it's in the winter time. I just like to use mine to walk around the house. When I'm all done with my shower, like I said, Get me a glass of wine, sit around, watch me a nice movie, listen to some good music. Um, I'll put a few clips up here. You, you guys have seen me. If you are in my stories or watching me on IG or looking at some of my photos or just catching me, like I said, in some of my stories, you see me all the time in silk robes, okay? So I love silk robes. I have these things in almost every single color, you guys. Black, white, cream, 
burgundy, red, you name it. I have almost, I have so many silk robes. Um, um, they do have some really nice long ones too. They're actually longer and not as short as the, these are the short ones that I'm going to link below, but they also have, have them in a longer length with maybe like a little bit of a split or something possibly on the side, I think. But um, I think I'm going to get me a few of those for the winter just to have a few longer ones. But yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. I also get, get from Amazon my bras. So you guys know I am very blessed with bosom. <laughs> So I'm not going to be modeling around in my bra, you guys, but if you're looking for a bra that could give you some good up, like lift um, and support and stuff like that and kind of give you, it still kind of look a little sexy, maybe with a little bit of lace or something like that, I can link you a nice bra below. So the pros to this bra is that it's going to give you a good lift. Um, it looks really sexy because it has like a little bit of lace on it and it supports the girls okay if you got some if you blessed with some bosom baby if you got some some um you know some big girls this can definitely hold you up you know they're going all the way up to the 40s and etc with this type of bra now the cons about this bra is that it is a underwire um that's not really a con the con is after so many washes the wire can begin to stick out of the bra and then it could possibly begin to like stick you in the skin and stuff like that. So you have to make sure that you keep the wire in there. Because in my opinion, without the wire, that's the whole support of the bra, in my opinion. If you want to try yours without the wire, I don't know. But I need the wire in mine. So hopefully I can move on to some, find some other bras that might be even better than this. So if you guys know of any, go ahead and hook your girl up and leave me a comment below and if you know of any type of supportive bras for girls like myself that are blessed with bosom that can really hold me up and ain't gonna give me no underwire problems with nothing sticking out and poking my skin hook your girl up okay i would love to know let me know okay so let's go ahead and move on you guys to some home decor items that i got off of amazon um you guys know i shop all over the place from target to home goods to marshall's to ross to you know all over the place tj maxx when i am getting my home decor items so i have stuff from all over the place um but like my throw pillows cases and stuff like that that type of stuff be coming off of amazon you guys should already have the links to that from some of my previous home decor um videos but i'm just going to talk about the newer things that i just purchased recently and that's going to be some of these little knobs that i purchased for my kitchen i wanted to switch out my boring kitchen knobs they were boring they were black you guys know that i rent this condo so um some things just need to be changed <laughs> and that to me was just one of them so i switched it out for this cute little bar type of knob it's not like your typical knob and i got the shorter ones because my you know uh, my sorry my cabinets are not really that big this is simple little things that you could do in your home to just give your home a little bit of elevation you know you could switch out the plates on the sockets you know where you stick your sockets at the plates you could change those to gold you could change them to like silver you could do so many cute little things to upgrade your home so i just wanted to share that with you guys you might see something like that in one of my vlogs too and moving right on along, I want to talk about these cute little moss balls. These are like the bigger ones, but they have some that are smaller than this. And these are so cute to throw around in some of your little, um, you know, some of your bowls or stuff like that. And I absolutely like these balls, you guys. I'm going to show you a quick clip of them on my tabletop here that I... Um, you know, I put these, I bought this little uh, bowl from TJ Maxx. I think the bowl was maybe only like $7.99. It was so cheap, you guys. And then I just added these moss balls to it. And yep, this is how it looks. And I think they are very, very stunning and cute. So if you want to do something like this, you can also, you know, go to Amazon and find stuff like this. You can find stuff like this in Home Goods or you can find stuff like this at at home and stuff like this so yeah very very cute to give your little table a little bit of uh, elevation or you can also get the flat 
green moss. Like they have it that's not balls, they're, they're flat. So, you know, in many different styles, just look into it if you like stuff like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave these balls in the description box below. Remember, they do have some that are smaller than these if this is not more of your taste. Okay. So now let's move on to my humidifier. I have a humidifier in this house. And the reason I have one in this house because you guys know humidifier helps us to breathe fresh clean air and my son sometimes he has like some type of bronchial thing going on where he'll get really congested and with colds and stuff like that so I have to make sure that I'm constantly changing out my little um, AC vents and stuff like that to prevent a lot of dust because my ceilings in this house is very very high and sometimes it's hard for me to get all the way up there I can't even get all the way up there you guys to clean out my um, the dust from my vents so I put a, I have a humidifier in the house to give out a very good mist in the air to kind of help circulate um, you know some clean air into the house I'm a girl that keeps my windows closed a lot I keep the AC on a lot y'all know I'm a Floridian so we don't I don't like to be hot in my house I keep the AC piping I keep the windows closed so we got to make sure we're circulating some very very fresh air so this is how the box looks. It's not really, really big. It's pretty cool if you want to keep it in your child's room or if you want to just keep it in the living room. Um, it might be giving off a glare, you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and show it to you guys in a clip right here. It's not that big, this humidifier. Um, I'll leave the link to it in the description box below. If you have like a child in your house or some children in your house or just for your personal self, you know, you could put this humidifier in your bedroom and I think it will, you know, be beneficial to you health-wise and to kind of keep you circulating some really fresh, clean air into the house. And yeah, so that's why I have this humidifier. So now I want to talk to you guys about my cute little fruit bowl that I got from Amazon. I When I ordered this and it came, I, when I saw it, I was like, oh, this is so freaking cute. Because, you know, sometimes you can get really tricked when you're buying stuff online. Like, it'll show you a picture and the picture might look bigger than it really is. And when by the time it gets to you, it's looking like a different size. And you're like, oh my God, the picture it was looking like this and this is what I got. But this bowl made me very, very happy. When I got it, I was in love with it. So I like that it's breathable. Most people, when they get bowls like this, this is like a pedestal a pedestal style bowl so because it has this little piece on the bottom i love it it's perfect it's the perfect size it holds a lot of fruit apples bananas lemons i could put so much stuff in here so it's very very um efficient it does what it does it's metal and it is solid black and i like that it is breathable it's not a bowl that's all closed in because you know fruit and stuff especially bananas they can have a very strong smell as they begin to ripen and i think it's great that the fruit can just breathe like they're not closed in and then when you take if if bananas is closed in on top of anything it's going to make whatever the thing next to it tastes like a banana because it's that strong so you guys know what i mean but i love 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 this fruit bowl it is so cute you guys so I can't remember if they had any other colors. I just know that I was interested in a black bowl and this is what I got. Got it from Amazon. I'm gonna leave the link to it in the description box below if you guys want to check that out and get you one. I know you've seen this recently all in my reels and stuff like that on my Instagram or TikTok. Y'all know I don't use my TikTok that much, but I have recently been cutting up stuff on my chopping board and posting stuff like that so I'm sure you've seen this bowl if you again are following me on IG so let's go ahead and move on to something else okay let's take a quick little pause real quick because while I was sitting here doing this video guess who knocked on my door it's Amazon so they brought another little quick package in right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up Okay, so this is something that goes into my kitchen. So I'm gonna take it into the kitchen and show you guys what it's used for. 
So this item is for placing it right over your sink area so that you can dry your dishes on top of it. So you can sit it right over the top of your sink. This is a smaller one. They have one that's larger than this. So you would take your glass or your cup or whatever and you would just probably turn it upside down and let it dry. So that's what this is for. Of course, I'll leave it in the description box below and let's go ahead and continue the video. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about my glasses, my glassware inside of the house and the drinking straws. I know you guys have been seeing this. This is so old. If you go all the way back to my Java video, you'll see me with these straws. These are glass straws. Um, I have them and they come in a whole pack that looks like this and it says glass straws on it just like this okay I'm not sure if you can see that there you go okay so the, the straws are straight you have some straight ones and then you have some that curve like this okay so of course this is like the most popular one that I like to use you if you've seen any videos from influencers you already know that they all like this type of stuff too as well this is a new item in my house. The straws are very, very old. I've had all type of glassware and I decided to try this one. Really cute and very um, nice and aesthetically pleasing when you're making some really nice drinks. So this is the beer, um, the beer glass. And I'm gonna leave both of these in the link below in the description box. I've also been drinking out of these um, tea glasses I use these for hot tea sometimes and again they are for aesthetics when I am doing stuff on my videos and I'm using this for hot tea because you'll be of course it's see-through so you'll be able to see when I put the lemons in it or when I put the tea bags or I pour the water because it's allowing you to see it because it's clear so a lot of influencers use clear stuff like this because it is aesthetically pleasing to the eye and you guys will be able to see what we're actually putting inside of the glass. So this is the one that I use for tea. I'll leave it in the description box below too as well for you if you want to get yourself one. I have some other double-sided glasses in there. Um, I don't know where my stuff is disappearing to you guys. I can't find those. I can't find my rings. I need to do a house check, okay? I have these disposable, okay? These are disposable plastic not glass okay disposable cups that come with the lids and then you have to order the straws separately okay so the straws don't come with it it just comes with the cup and the lids and again the reason we like to have things that are clear is because it allows you to see what's going on inside of the cup these are so freaking convenient for those days when you are running out and you want to have yourself a nice cold coffee or something like that that you can make in the house and save yourself some money on spending at Starbucks, okay? Y'all know we love Starbucks. Starbucks is, the coffee is amazing. I like all of the, you know, the drinks and stuff, etc. but the price, baby, the price, okay? Y'all know $6, $7 a cup for a cup of coffee that adds up if you're buying that five times a week, etc. So, and you know, it's so much cheaper when you can make your own coffee at home. So, I enjoy doing stuff like that anyway, you guys. When I'm going to run out and go somewhere, you know, during the day, I, I have no problem with making myself a nice little coffee at home. Now, if I'm out on the street already and I got caught up out there and I had a craving for something, I'm going to whip up a Starbucks. I already know I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> but either way, I do appreciate stuff like this because it is, again, aesthetically pleasing. It saves money and it is convenient and you could just do it at home and you could still go out, honey, with all of your little staples, okay? So if you want to know which one these is that I got that came with the list, I'll link it below, including the straws. It's like, I think this thing got like about 200 straws in it. And then the cups come with like maybe a hundred in a pack. Like I wanted to bring that big pack of cups out here, you guys, okay? So it comes with like maybe like a, a hundred cups in the pack. And again, very, very nice for you to grab and save yourself some money when you get ready to run out throughout the day with your coffee, okay? So that is gonna end today's video. That's all I'm gonna show you guys for now. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. 
click the subscribe button and rock out with your girl. I would appreciate it. Leave all of the comments below if you have any questions. And again, thank you guys for rocking with me. Thank you for clicking on this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.